Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper. I think I've done more videos in a five-day stretch than I ever have since I've been presenting. But I got stuff to share. And it is time for another cigar blend, Robusto. So let's get to it. Barbecue time. I'll be back after the intro. Well, I'm back. We've cracked the tin of Robusto. Give it a little bit of drying time. Packed me a bowl in the Savinelli 622 Lucite. Roma Lucite. We got the Charlite, Pulse Light Charlite going. This is dated 2 2019. I could have waited, but I didn't. Here's what the tin says. Robusto. A selection of fine ripe Virginia tobaccos is enhanced with the perfect measure of Maduro cigar leaf to provide an alluring spice. Well, you can already tell it's a GLP's blend. The suggestion of the richness of a great cigar and a creamy smoke. A little Cyprian Latakia adds roundness. And smooths the edges while fine oriental tobaccos fill the gaps. Complex and full flavored yet very gentle on the tongue. Robusto is perfect with afternoon coffee. I've got tea. As a delicious finish to a wonderful meal or as a stout and stalwart companion throughout the day. GLPs. Well, right off the bat, um, I caught the Orientals just from the sourness. Sorry, I got my feet up. I'm just kicking back. You can see the Garbage Man Piper's Distribution Center in action back there. Can You can get the little bit of Cyprian Latakia more in the back. But you can get the Maduro leaf. Little bit of tingle on the tongue. I'm smoking a nine millimeter. This pipe has uh, was a redo. It was a six mil. I made it an eight mil. Therefore, I have got a Dr. Pearl in it. I don't know, I actually would like to find a cigar that smoked this good. A lot closer to the Cameroons that I smoke. I don't smoke a lot of Latakia. I don't remember when I smoked Latakia last. A blend with a lot of Kia in it. I just don't remember. Orientals, I usually stay away from, but I did do the Savinelli uh, 140th that was heavier in Orientals. And it was good. It just, they just make me salivate like nobody's business, those Orientals. So, Thursdays.
So what's going through my head? All I can do is compare it to what I've had. That's what trying these blends are, are about. And of course, finding, do we want, do we want them? Because to me, I think, where would I place this blend? San Sepulchro, Old Dark Fire, um, The Haunting, Peppery, Cloud Hopper, Sweet Spot. What was the last one I tried? Oh, Havana Daydream. Right next to Cloud Hopper. Not enough to knock Cloud Hopper off. I don't think a lot of those, and I could be mistaken, are heavy, as heavy uh, in the Orientals as this. I'm okay with the amount of Latakia that it has. The Latakia is not driving the bus. You can actually get the Maduro leaf in it. And I think why I'm leaning that is, is like towards the Cameroon is because the Orientals give it a little bit of a um, savory, sweet and savory which is what I like about Cameroons. There's just a savory wrapper on it. I don't feel like I'm constantly going for the chapstick because it's dry. The Cameroons are have a little have, have an oilier wrapper. I didn't look up any reviews on it. It's a first impression. Sometimes I do just for talking points. Very surprised how well the tobaccos play together. It actually is like they're having fun. They're enjoying themselves. Smooth edges, nothing harsh about it. Rich, creamy. I, I don't smoke a lot of GLPs, but um, I don't know that I've got, you know, I have, it doesn't knock Cloud Hopper off its pedestal. I mean, I can see still, still smoking the Cloud Hopper. And I think in my head, it's just the Orientals that would make me you know, reach over this to the uh, cloud hopper. The other one that I first impressioned was um, King Stride, which is a warped cigar blend, just like cloud hopper and the haunting was a collaboration with C and D. Not. Not bad. I mean, like I said, for I, I like to smoke the cigar blends when I'm not doing anything else. I got my feet up. I'm just pulling. I'd smoke this probably before The Haunting. Definitely before King Stride. Definitely before San Sepulchro. This might find a number two spot.
the hunting may be in third place. The Orientals are balanced out enough. They give enough tartness, but they're balanced out enough, I think, with the Maduro leaf and the Cyprian. <clears throat> that it's one of those blends you can just sit and contemplate. Um, it doesn't really talk about a whole lot of a Nick hit. Full flavored yet gentle on the tongue. I can see this being good with coffee. I have brown or, or black tea unsweetened and it's sweet I may shoot another bowl of this and go make myself some coffee but I think we've done enough with this blend as far as a first impression and I have to say I don't mind it it's not my number one, but it definitely could be two or three in my cigar blend rotation. Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper saying, Sweet Chicken Baby, y'all stay inside. <laughs>